Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 25. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report that can tell you that we have a lot of wind in the sails of one of our EAs. We have another one which is struggling a bit and then we have some that simply just turn over and uh, deliver the profit uh, day in, day out. And obviously uh, we're going to tell you and show you a lot more about that. From our platform side, we also have a bit of news regarding so the uh, Trillion platform and the CEO has gone out with a bit of an unofficial uh, video. Basically, he's talking to a couple of uh, Germans here on a private YouTube channel. We managed to pick up a bit of the chatter from there. And we're also gonna tell you a bit more about it during the program here itself. Let's get started. And uh, let's see exactly how this week has panned out because there's also um, some great news when it comes to Bitcoin that has definitely been on the move for the last many days and had a bit of an influence on some of the things we're going to talk about here today. The first part is obviously uh, the 5% quarterly profit. We always mention this one here and we are getting closer and closer to the cutting point where we will have that in our yield notes platform. Again, it's not getting paid out, but at least it looks nice on a piece of paper until hopefully they will sort it out. But there's still a long way to go. It might be six or nine months before everything is up and running. So let's go straight into some of the coins instead. So that uh, might be a bit more of an interest to us. Now SAP and Sapphire coin, it has shown some movements in the last couple of weeks. One point it is basically increasing uh, the value with about 15, 20%. The next one it's dropping. This week hasn't really been any different. So last week we took a step backwards. Now this week we are moving forwards again. If we have a look at the return on the investment percentage on the iHost MN website in here, we can see that uh, last week it was about 62%. Now we're up uh, about 64%, so slightly improved, but uh, overall this still varies. So uh, don't put too much effort into that one here. Shared master noting, we can see that we have managed to get almost 3% this week. It is a bit low, but 2.8% is basically what we could get for the week. But overall coin development has taken another turn for the good. So we're basically back to where we were about two weeks ago here. Now uh, from minus 80% down to minus 63. Obviously there is still a long way to go in order to go back to the good old days. Now on the graph itself, as we can see, there are small minute changes and uh, obviously they are good. There is a slightly upwards trend at the moment. Let's see if that's going to bite in. Definitely the... Uh, Bitcoin price here most probably has helped a bit on the uh, Sapphire coin, like with so many other crypto coins at the moment. PNY, however, is very difficult to move, and we saw only slightly movements from uh, the previous weeks. Again, here, return on the investment is down. We can see 56% what we had last week. Now it's down to 52 and then on the shared master noting overall, we are looking at just below 10% here also for the week on that one, which is obviously great. So it's nice to get 10% every single week. But if the overall coin development is not developing, then obviously it doesn't really matter much. And as you can see, it is pretty much status quo from last week at minus 97%. So definitely, again, nothing much to uh, report on. Same here with the graph. It is pretty flat. And as we mentioned many times here now, we believe that that will continue until we can see uh, some of the implementations that hopefully yield notes uh, management will get done by the end of the year. When it comes to Birec, then Birec is obviously a bit more volatile here. Again, this is an exchange, so that means there is a bit of coins flowing through it. Definitely not as much as we used to see in here. But let's have a look at the return on the investment. So definitely it is up 126% on the return on the investment per year. Was it last week? Now it's up to 135. And also here we can see that we had a good percentage, about 9.5% for that particular week. So that is a very good uh, progress in the right direction. Now overall coin development is also good. We uh, have seen that we have been in plus a couple of weeks here ago. But overall, we were at minus 37% last week. Now we have moved 17% forward again, but we are still in minus 20%. 
So also here with that particular coin, there's a long way to go. We can see the upwards trend on the graph here also slightly, but we have seen them in the past. Overall, if there is no real breakout here, most probably it will be only for short term and then you'll see the coin coming back down again. Now, uh, an important announcement here also before we move on, and that is there is a new SAP Sapphire coin wallet. And uh, obviously a new version 1.5.2.0 is a mandatory update. So if you have one of these, if you have this as a backup to your iHost MN wallet, you normally have to put in a secondary wallet in here in case uh, of, of any mishaps here. So make sure that you get this one updated. We did ours. It didn't seem to be a big issue. It seems to work quite well. The installation process, everything else. So you can go and find that uh, through the SAP or Sapphire homepage. You can download it in a lot of different formats. Now I mentioned here earlier so that the Bitcoin versus the US dollar here has uh, definitely taken a turn for the better. So it wasn't long ago, last week here, that we were down at about 25,000, which was uh, the low for a reasonable time. Since then, it has been trending, and in the last couple of days, it's been shooting up from about 28,000 past the 30. And at the moment, it is uh, simmering around the 30,000 mark here still. It'll be interesting to see if it can actually keep it up this time around. We have seen it many times in the 30s here before, but very quickly, again, it loses uh, its value and comes down to the range again of 28 to 25,000. So time will tell exactly what is in store for Bitcoin coming the summer. Now, also here with BNB versus USD, we can also see here that the trend has changed. It was all the way down here to about uh, 235, 236. And since then, it has also taken the same similar turn. So it has been a bit more uh, jacket on the way up here. But unfortunately, we haven't seen the high prices uh, going in. And at the moment, we are still just around the $251 mark for the BNB. And that is actually quite low compared to the previous recent months where we were past the 300. So let's see uh, what's going to happen to this coin here also. But a lot of times in the summer, uh, prices will go down. And uh, most probably this is also a general idea here for most of the coins that this will happen. Now we have our new poll out and uh, last week here we asked what is your favorite Forex EA robot and uh, we were not really surprised to see that a lot of people, 56% in here, had the Profit Retriever as always being on fire, always working and definitely this is also uh, what we have seen now trading this one here for more than a year. The rest is actually a bit low. We can see both the money tree, the trade explorer and the spaghetti trader only at 4%. So not really many that has been into this one here yet, uh, but there's about 33% of others. And unfortunately, nobody left a comment within the poll itself. We did go out and ask if people wanted to make some feedback on exactly what EAs they are running at the moment. Uh, so at least we can also uh, bid in or maybe even test them if that is uh, the way we're going to go with this. Now, we mentioned before here on the Trillion, Trillion platform, things are happening and there seems to be uh, more news and information coming out again. This is the back office tutorial and there seems to be a new video in here uh, going over the Trillando part. They said it was up there when we checked here last time, we simply couldn't find it. So most probably there has been a slight delay. But hopefully by the time that you see this video here, things will have been uploaded, things would have uh, moved in the right direction, and you can go and find a bit more information on that. Now the news and press releases coming out of Trillion here is mostly down to the KYC, down to the KYBs, and we have been over these for the last many weeks that you have to set some of these things up. And also here, uh, there's some important info for the store owners of Trillando. And there's even some issues regarding trademark protections also here that somebody uh, seems to violate. And obviously that is never a good idea. Now we actually uh, mentioned here before so that uh, we had a bit of uh, video and information from Eric, the CEO of Trillion in here, talking to uh, what I believe is two Germans. So that is at least uh, the dialect that I picked up in here. 
And uh, again, I understand that uh, Q2 is basically over. Last week, I mentioned here that the uh, stablecoin should be released very, uh, very, very shortly. As you know, the tree packs that you see here, you go in and buy them and you actually get them out in Trill, which is equivalent to the US dollar. We were hoping that this one here is going to be released in the second quarter now. And we obviously also told you here that uh, we don't believe that that's going to happen. And this video interview, which unfortunately I cannot really share with you on the YouTube channel here, but this basically mentions again uh, from Eric's what he's talking about, the body language, everything else that they are now debating if they uh, will be able to release this. And definitely if they will release it, it will be a very limited amount that you can get out. What was mentioned in this particular video was something like $500, most probably per month. And that is nothing compared to a lot of us that has been waiting for now about nine or 10 months since we went over to this new platform here. We can obviously go with our tree, but they're not really worth very much at the moment. Uh, you can go and buy them on the exchanges that we're going to have a look at here later on. So a bit of disappointing news, but hopefully also again here in the next couple of days, we hope to see some news directly from Eric himself telling us what is the time frames. But some of the excuses that was uh, part of this uh, individual video here, uh, we don't really buy. Uh, it has taken long enough to get this one up and running. And we do believe that if people could get their money out, they would actually be quite happy with it. And they might even go in and support the tree uh, with new packages. But as this continues to go on and on, uh, I think uh, people are losing faith instead, and that's going to hurt the coin even more. But then again, this is my personal opinion. Let's have a look at XD.com. We can see in here that actually there is a positive after many weeks of negative and where things have been sliding down again. Don't forget that it is about a month or a bit uh, longer here that we had 0 0.001. Since then, it has obviously come down here by about 60%. So last week we were at triple zero three nine nine four. Now slightly up again, as you can see, if this is also an influence on Bitcoin, most probably it is. But then again, uh, that doesn't uh, look too good if we're going to have the same slide uh, down the scope here in the summertime as uh, with Bitcoin again. Coinstore also very similar and very same. So there's not much difference in price at the moment. Also here we are at 0 0.0004274. And obviously that is a good thing uh, that we are moving forward, but the steps are extremely small. So um, definitely not what we wanted to see. Going over to the money tree, we uh, have obviously some uh, good information, but we also have a very low trading volume overall. The low risk account that we have that cover all the 22 EAs only made $177 or 2.5% for the week. So that was not really very good. The medium risk one did 54 and uh, obviously only one trade. And then we had the high risk account in here that basically blew, unfortunately. Well, it didn't blow because the account is still very much there, but it hit the stop loss itself, which is at minus 20 on the equity curve here itself. And it is really a uh, bad timing here because it has been doing so well, especially the high risk one here. And as soon as we actually put it up for the copy link service, things starts to go wrong. But uh, this seems always to happen uh, when you start putting your own money in there or you start introducing something new, then everything that you have seen work so well for months here all of a sudden falls apart. But the video is in here and explains exactly about the two signals. And there's also some video material that you can go and have a look at if you're interested in the signals. We are making some changes also to these signals here. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about it here looking at the graph. So this is the high risk one. And as you can see, the high risk one has been working quite well. We are only working with 10 currency pairs and we decided this one here has a win rate of more than 94%. So we can actually increase the lot size slightly, but unfortunately the market again seems to go against us here. So whatever we have tried to build up of experience over time, seems to have just put us back in where exactly we started at the end of the day. So this particular 
a second time where the high-risk account uh, went into a, a create drawdown uh, at the 20% mark here was on uh, Wednesday and now we basically lost about 2000 so everything that we have built up you can see how well we were doing uh, before here so what we have done now is basically we have cut the lot size in half so the high risk is actually going to be now below the medium risk itself we're going to have the same currency pairs but we're going to make some changes with the lot sizes and the drawdowns itself so now the new medium which you are seeing here will basically be the higher risk instead. So the medium risk has done extremely well and has cast in uh, once again. You can see for the week, we are up $207. So that one seems to be uh, doing extremely well and maybe is a better balance than the high risk one that we had. The numbers uh, told us something else, but again, the market would always tell us the final solution, of course, uh, that we have no influence on. History, as you can see, 59 uh, days so far. And the medium risk seems to do a lot better. So that's why we have now uh, changed the strategy a bit here saying, okay, medium risk will now be the highest one we have. And then we're gonna take the high risk uh, down a notch below the medium risk settings. Now, exactly how we got to all these different points of currencies uh, to trade and how it actually trades, you can find a lot more info and details on our website, on our YouTube channel. These are definitely some of the videos that you want to have a closer look at to understand exactly where we are coming from and why we are choosing these settings and also the lot sizing themselves. Going on to the profit retriever, this one here is simply taking over for the last many weeks. We haven't had any major tick ups or hiccups here. So week 24, we saw the US 30, the second signal we have in here at $834 or 8.3%. So very high just for that particular week. The US 30, so we have a second signal here, it is $537 or 5.4%. Then we have the gold, which continues to take over quite nicely at $471 or 4.7%. US Swiss francs is also uh, doing quite nicely at the moment with $437 or 4.4%. And the FTSE 100 basically ended up at the same level here also, fighting for the fourth and fifth position, $437 or 4.4%. Overall, if you would have traded those particular five in the last week, you would have made $2,715 or 5.4%. And that is definitely a good uh, and average value we have overall. Now, when we have a look at the entire portfolio that we have in here, it continues to grow. It's going actually quite nice. Weekly returns, as you can see, 2.3, monthly returns, 10.1. And don't forget, we are not increasing lot sizes on all these accounts. We are basically keeping them stable all the way through. Most of the ones are lying somewhere around the 0 0.1516, all the way up to 0.3. No more, basically. And that is also why we have such uh, even and uh, continuous results overall after 462 days. Now the profit for the month of June here, we still have quite a few days to go, is 13,893. And it continues to cash in every single time. And uh, hopefully we'll get past uh, last month, May numbers here of 18,500. Now every single week, we are always showing you exactly the top 10 results for the profit retriever. And we are looking back for weeks. This one here is no different. And actually what we are also showing in this video here is how stable that these results have become. Every single week that we are making these videos here, we see uh, 11,000, 12,000, 13. I think the lowest one we had over the four week review was actually 9,000. So that basically means that every single month, if you are trading some of these signals in here, you will have an extra account to trade for the month after. And you can obviously see that if you did that for the last four months, you might have started off with 10 and now you would have about 14 or 15, depending on if you are following our advice to the letter or even you put more accounts up here for grabs. It is entirely up to you. You can obviously find a lot more details and information on the profit retriever, how we trade it on the trading side. And a lot of people don't really like to sit and do all the set files and trying to adjust to the market all the time. You simply head over to the copy link trading and you find some of the signals over there instead. 
that you can go and copy and sit back and hopefully the traders will make some nice profits for you. We know there's quite a few that is doing that and quite happy with it. Now the spaghetti trader is also one that we have had in the backhand and we haven't done any videos for that one in recent times. But if you go into our website, you can now see that the latest postings on the profits are actually also a bit more positive than what they have been in the past. On the 15 minute chart, we actually made $275 or 3.1% for last week. On the one hour chart, it did quite well, $318 or 3.6. And then we have the four hour one, which we had a bit of a loss on with minus 227 or minus 2.4%. But we uh, also uh, mentioned in this particular video that we have released this week that we are having a look. We are adjusting the spaghetti trader. We are trying to understand exactly how this needs to be traded. Don't forget this one here is actually a free EA. So if you are an expert Forex premium forum member, you can go in and pick this one up for free. We have videos exactly showing you where this is. And we obviously continue to show you also how this is trading and how it's going to do in the near future. You yourself can obviously also keep yourself informed. You can go on our website, click on the uh, link here again for the Spaghetti Trader. You will find these particular items here, so 15 minutes, one hour and four hour. And that is the FX Blue links that you need. You can go and watch every single trade that is happening in here to see if this particular EA is something that you need to work with. Don't forget again here that when we are mentioning this, we are trading all the 28 currency pairs that is within the EA themselves. It doesn't necessarily mean at the end of the day that you have to, but at the moment we are trying to establish a base for this particular EA on which currencies are good, which ones uh, we can basically take away in order to get some better profits. Better profits is definitely one of the trade explorers uh, really strong sides here it has a lot of wins in its sales in the last couple of weeks the 22 pair made 893 dollars or 7.6 percent and it also done quite well this week it did however scare us a bit because we did give in almost down to a 100 percent margin call and i will do a video on that particular one this was only uh, evident on the 22 pairs because again it, it is a lot of pairs that is doing and uh, the Japanese uh, yen in here also had an influence on that particular uh, account. So again, here we have to be very careful. So 7.6% is extremely high. We have made some lot, giants, uh, lot uh, changes in here in order to try and reduce the risk a bit because we certainly don't want the accounts to blow. On the 10 pair accounts, which is the more conservative part and only doing the 10 pairs here, then we did $662 or 5.6%. And that one hasn't had, had the big hiccups that we have seen on the 22 pair one. So uh, let's see, it is also two different set files completely in between the two. Uh, but we will try and uh, give you a bit more detail and information on that uh, in the very near future. Now, we, we also mentioned here that we did a video and that was done last week exactly on how to buy, install and set up for the Trade Explorer. So if you are interested in it, then it's definitely the way to go. So it seems to be nice and stable and most of the time the drawdowns are very low. But again, there will be times and that's exactly what we're going to show you in a future video, what you need to look out for. And um, you can also here on our website, go and find more details and more profits going back week on week. And uh, at the moment, we only have the two videos here that you see where we reveal the mystery robot as the trade explorer. And then this one here where you can set up your video and your set files uh, together with us. And obviously also here we have direct access to the FX Blue with the 22 pair account and the 10 pair account goes to the FX Blue account, but you might not see exactly the drawdown that I just mentioned to you here before. And that is why we're going to use the MQL5 platform to show you a bit more detail on what exactly is happening. Now, uh, the 10% discount also on the Trade Explorer, it is gone, unfortunately, but we did manage to keep a 5% discount and you have a coupon code here. 
if you are interested in this particular EA. So there is still a chance to get this one with a small discount. The price for these EAs are a bit on the spicy and expensive side. So 5% is going to get you a long way, we believe. And that is also one way that you can help and assist us on this particular channel. And at the same time, uh, we can make sure that you also get uh, the EA just a bit cheaper. There is no information. So from Alex and Expert Forex this week, he hasn't released any videos. From what we understand, he is now on his summer vacation back in Greece. And uh, obviously, as Australia has gone into the winter month, uh, there will most probably be a bit less videos from him in the next couple of uh, weeks or maybe even months. We will have to see exactly how that goes. But we will definitely keep you updated with everything that we have. So I hope to see you on next week's video. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report, so please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.